Hi Crafty Peeps, Enos here, and I am back with another Craft With Me video. Uh, this time we are going to be making some cute little um, Valentine wands. And these wands are made with felt and very minimal materials, which I think most of us probably have in our stash in our craft rooms. And at least that's where I got all of my goodies from. So um, with that, let me just show you what we're going to be using. Okay. I have felt that I picked up at Joanne Fabrics a couple of years ago in pink and red. Okay, you just need a couple little pieces of that. I have some batting also from my stash. Um, I'm going to be using a variety of small pieces of ribbon. And I have pink, white, red, and this red checked ribbon here. I am going to be using um, a wooden skewer, and in this case, these wands are rather small, so we're going to actually be cutting this in half. I'm going to be using a heart die and two word dies, the love and the XOXO, and I'm not going to be using the shadow portions that go along with these. Also, I'm going to be using a piece of... Um, cardstock. I think this is probably 65 pound. And we will also be using a scrap of red and a scrap of pink. A little scrap of pink. And actually, I'm going to cut that right now. Okay. We will also be using um, a hot glue gun, the um, Sizzix machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm also going to be using some of this Elmer's Multi-Purpose Spray Glue. You can use any kind of glue, but it needs to be permanent. And what we'll be using that for is adhering our felt to the cardstock because um, the words will go on to the project much, much easier if they're backed with a little bit of cardstock. So with that, let's get started. So I'm going to just put these aside. And I'm going to start with... Um, cutting my felt and right now I already have one piece cut there so let me grab my Sizzix machine okay there you go and I know sometimes people say that you can't cut felt on a Sizzix machine but I really didn't have much trouble with it unless it was a very intricate die so what I'm going to do is make my sandwich I'm going to put my felt there and my heart die face down okay just covering that up my top plate and I'm going to run this through my machine and I like to run it back and forth and if that doesn't cut it you can run it through one more time so let's just pick it up and look it cut a perfect little heart so now I have two heart pieces the front and the back okay so I'm going to put that die aside and then I'm going to take my piece of cardstock here and I'm actually going to cut this in half because I'm going to need a pink piece and a red piece and these are for our words. So let me just trim that down. Okay, and I'm going to do this off camera but I'm going to take the spray glue and I'm going to spray the piece of card, but I have two pieces of cardstock, okay? So give me just a second to do that. And you just want a real light spritz. You don't need much. It's just enough until that um, felt can stick to it. So here we have the two pieces here with the glue. Okay, and I'm going to stick red on one and you want to pretty much cover up this cardstock you don't want the glue getting stuck to your plot your pads for your Sizzix machine or else you're going to have to clean those pads off okay so i have one pink and one red and i'm just going to put my love word on there okay making sure that the die covers completely and my xoxo I'm going to put my pad on top for my sandwich. 
and run this through. And it's a little bit tight in there, but it does work. And because this is a little bit intricate, I'm just going to run it through a little bit extra. Okay. All right, I'm going to take those off. And we're done with the Sizzix machine now, so I'm just going to put this aside. Okay. So, this pops out super easy. Do you see how quick that popped out? And let me zoom this back in again. Okay. And hopefully we'll have the same luck with the red felt. Okay, there you go. And look, it fell right out of the die. And this one should come out pretty easily as well. So I'm going to put my dies aside. So now we need... Um, a little pokey tool or something, and I just have a straight pin here that um, I am going to use to poke out the negative spaces on the letters. You just pull that off, and notice I have my white cardstock on the back. And these should poke out pretty easily. Okay, and one more, well, actually, two more on here. That one and that one. Okay, so there's my love. And now we'll do the XOXO. Just poking out the negative spaces. Some of these are pretty tiny, so you have to pick them off with your finger or if you want to use some tweezers, that will work too. And there you go. Okay, actually, I probably should have cut this out in red. Um, well, I'm just going to use the pink because that's what I have. Okay, so we've got these. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some pins... And pin my heart all the way around and I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way around but I'm going to leave the tip slightly open because that's where I need to put the skewer so we just put a few pins in here because you want this these two felt pieces to stay together nicely because if the top piece shifts and you can't see what's going on underneath, you'll stitch right off of it. And, and we want to make sure we pick up all of the layers. So that's why I'm using the pins. Okay. And in my sewing machine, I have um, white thread in the bobbin and I have metallic gold thread in the needle. Okay, so that's that. So um, I'm going to pause the video, go off camera, and do my stitching, and then I'll be right back. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. And while I was off camera, I also decided to recut the XOXO so I do have two reds because the pink really wouldn't show up well on here unless I did some kind of backing. So I have two reds there. So anyway, um, I did stitch all the way around about a quarter of an inch, give or take. And I left a little spot open here so my skewer can go through. Now I'm just gonna trim up these threads. Make sure I got them all off. So it looks nice and neat. Okay, throw those away. And then I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I am going to glue my words on. Okay, and you wanna make sure you glue all the way around. Doesn't have to be a lot of glue, but you wanna make sure you get all the way around so this sticks well to your felt. Okay. Just stick that down there. You can put it at an angle. 
You can put it straight across. You can decorate this however you want to. And then I'm going to turn it over and do the same with my XOXO because this is a reversible heart wand. And if you want to decorate the back with something other than the words like I'm doing, you can decorate it however you want to. But I'm trying to get use out of these dies since I just stockpiled so many of them. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And we are finished with the glue. All right, so now I have my skewer here. And this skewer is about... I believe it's 10 inches. Yes, it's 10 inches long. And so I just made a little mark at the five inch point. And I'm going to use some wire cutters right at that mark and just squeeze it. Squeeze it until you break it. Okay. So then I have my five inch piece and the pointed end is kind of good. It goes inside real easy, but we're not going to put that on yet. So now I'm going to take my fiber fill and through this little tiny hole that I've got at the bottom here, <laughs> I know it's small, but I can get the fiber fill in. You just want to stuff it a little bit at a time. Okay, so um, I guess I should have left my hole a little bit larger for stuffing because that was <laughs> not fun to get that stuffing in there. But now my hole is larger and I'm going to have to go back to my sewing machine and um, close this hole up a little bit. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And um, I'm gonna trim off these threads again. because the stuffing was a little bit difficult for me, <laughs> as you could see. All right, so that is that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, see my, my stick went in there really nicely. Okay, so that's good, but I'm not gonna push the stick in all the way. I'm gonna just put it in a little bit, and then I'm gonna take my glue gun, and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue down into this hole where the stick is and then work the stick in and out a little bit and then push it in as far as I want it to go. Okay, which I like it to go way up near the top. Now, I do know that this, that kind of um, messes up the bottom of the heart there, but that's gonna get covered with ribbons anyway. So there's the back and there's the front. Okay, so there's the beginning of our little heart. And now we're going to take our ribbon. So I have been practicing <laughs> making bows because I have a lot of hard time with bows, but I think I may actually have it kind of figured out. So I'm gonna start with, um, let's see, this piece is about, it's about 14 inches and I'm probably gonna cut some off, but take two fingers and leave a tail of about an inch and a half to two inches. And spread your fingers just a little bit there. Wrap this around. Okay, so it's wrapped like that. And tuck the long end underneath and up. Okay, so when you do that, you're going to have this wrap around right here where this tail is coming out. So you're going to take this long piece and you're going to go underneath that loop that goes around your finger. And you're going to come out through here. Okay, see how that was? And when you pull this tight, that forms your bow. Boy, oh boy, I wish I could have figured that out a long time ago. That was so fast, and let's see how this bow turned out. Okay. And so there's my little bow. Pretty good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my tails over 
so that they match one another. And I'm just going to notch out a little V on the tail because I like the way that looks when you have the V. So I'm just going to go up about halfway and then down the other side. Okay. So there is my bow. Okay. With the little dovetails. So that's the bow that's going to go on the front here. So now I'm going to make the tail portions, the dangle portion. So I'm going to take my pink, white, and red ribbon, and I'm going to pull off, I don't know, maybe 10 inches. Let's see. Okay, let me grab a ruler here. Okay, so here's 10 inches here. Uh, 10 inches might be too much. Let's do nine. I'm going to do nine inches. Okay. I'm just going to trim those off. Okay. So then I'm going to flip my ribbon so that it's wrong side up. And right about the center, I'm just going to put a small dot of glue. Okay. And then I'm going to take my pink ribbon wrong side up. And you want to make sure that the cuts of your tails are going the right way. Do you see how that's the wrong way? So I'm going to flip it over so it's this way. And you want these to be about the same length. And then just press down on that little blob of glue. So now those are stuck together. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing with the white piece. We want to make sure that the cuts are going the same way, which is like this. And I'm going to put just a little dab of glue. Okay, and lay that about centered on top of there and push it down. All right, so that's going to be our tails that are going to hang down off of our wand. Okay, so now what I've been doing with this is I want, I want my white ribbon to show in the front and the red ribbon to show in the back. So what I'm going to do is, right where that glob of glue is right there, I'm going to actually fold this kind of at a little... I'm going to fold it over itself, almost like doing a uh, mitered corner, okay? So first I'm going to put a little dot of glue there to hold that first fold. Okay, so that will go this way. Get a little extra glue there, and I'm going to squeeze that until it dries. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this back open. I'm going to put a little dot there. Now, some people might tie these onto their wands. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm just sort of winging this and doing it my own self. So now I have um, my little tail there, and it's all glued together, so it's not going to come apart. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is, um, I don't want my ribbons to fray, so I'm going to take a knife, or a, I'm sorry, a lighter, and I'm just really quickly going to go over the edge of these ribbons, okay, just to seal them off real quick, just enough to seal them. Not enough to burn them, okay? That's all you got to do, that really, really quick. All right, now I'm going to glue my bow right there. So hot glue right on the top of the ribbons. I'm going to put my little bow on there. Okay. Just grabbing off the extra glue. So that's going to be my tails and my ribbon, my bow on my wand. Okay, and that should just take a couple of seconds to dry. And then I'm going to put some more glue, this time right here. A little bit on the stick, a little bit on the felt. Okay, and then I'm going to take the back 
making sure that my ribbons are all laying the right way. Okay. And, whoops, I don't think it is laying the right way. Here we go. And just stick that on right there. Okay. I actually think I'm going to need another little dot of glue underneath here. Okay. All right. Just adjust my bow a little bit and my ribbons all hanging down. Okay. And then I'm going to make another bow to put on the back. So this can be reversible. Once again, you're going to use about 8 to 10 inches of ribbon, but I'm just going to cut off the excess at the end. Okay, around and under. And then you have your little loop there. This long tail is going to tuck underneath that loop. And in between that loop and the center, and then you're going to pull, pull that one tight. And that's what ties your bow. Okay, slide it off your fingers, and there you have it. Okay, cute little bow. And I'm just going to trim this tail. Um, sometimes you'll have to twist the tails around so that they're going in the right direction. And these two, I think I'm just going to have it angle outward. Okay. And I'm going to hot glue that bow right there. Okay. Another little dab of glue. And just take your bow at the center and stick it on that glue. All right. Okay, here we go. So there you have it. So here we have all three of my heart ribbon wands. And you can use these to poke into little buckets that you might do a Valentine bucket to someone or uh, tuck it in a card, put it in your Happy Mail, um, just whatever it is you want to do with it. You can decorate them more with some little sequins or maybe some glitter or something to fancy them up. But these are my simple um, felt heart wands with ribbon. And I made all of these with stuff that was in my stash. And I'm just really pleased with the way they turned out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and craft with me video and that you will like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the next crafty video. Bye crafty peeps.